everyone. So my name is Sibine and I'm 26 years old. Um, I'm a dancer, dance teacher and model. My passion for dance began when I was maybe four or five years old, I think. I was dancing at home <laughs> in front of my parents and big sister and I think she was the one who introduced me to dance. Um, and when I got older, um, I actually found out that my grandmother in Thailand, uh, she had performed for the Queen in Thailand and that made the goal for me. So in 2000 and was it 15 or 16? I danced for the Queen here in Denmark. So that was my goal and I did it. So my journey here at Hotstepper um, began in 2008, I think when the dance school was at the Fleischberg, at the swimming place, I can't remember what it was called, but yeah. Uh, my dance teacher uh, was Sophie Eriksen and Nafi, and they were so cool. So I keep dancing and I wanted to be like them because they were my role models. And then I started to teach as a substitute here uh, at Hustler in Neapel. And then, the, and then the journey just continued all the years and I took a dance education, which was the best decision ever. Like the best way to educate yourself, um, the knowledge uh, you'll get and all the steps and everything that you don't know. Um, yeah, so now I'm here and I think I have been teaching here for like five, six years. Yeah. No, I've been teaching here for like almost 10 years. Yeah. 10 years, <laughs> that's many years, but I love it. One of my dance experience I'm very proud of is of course, uh, what I said before, is when I performed for the Queen of Denmark, because um, that was one of my biggest goals in my whole dance career. And when it happened, I was actually crying and that was like on top of all, like I didn't, it was just like, I didn't have any goals anymore because I achieved that. But of course, still, uh, I, I still love um, learning and I still do have some dreams. Um, I Before I wanted to end my dance career, uh, I said to myself, okay, you have to go on a tour with an artist. So this summer, no, last summer, <laughs> um, I performed with DJ Alligator. Um, and that was so amazing in front of like thousands of people. Um, so yeah, I think that's one of my, no, those two are my biggest dance experience ever that I'm very proud of. Actually, one of the coolest things about the DJ Alligator tour was that I, I choreographed uh, the whole show um, and I didn't know that I could do that. So that's actually also one thing I'm very proud of. My most embarrassing experience in my dance career was when I was performing in Zurich. Um, yeah, everything was going fast and music was playing and it was like the, the last rehearsal before the performance. So it's actually the same day and uh, <laughs> everyone was out on the stage but I couldn't find my clothes, my outfit, show outfit for, for the show. Um, so I was running around behind backstage to find it and when I found someone other's clothes, um, I had to put that on and while I was running out uh, <laughs> in front of the stage, I couldn't see like a high level step from the stage. I don't know what you call it. But then suddenly I just felt like boom. And <laughs> my knee, my hip, everything, like it, it was hurting so bad. And actually while I was running, I was holding a fake mirror and it, yeah, it broke like in many pieces. So it was a huge disaster. Yeah, I think that was the most embarrassing embarrassing experience in my whole life. <laughs> Why I love teaching is that I love to see the growth in students and just to see them, yeah, like speak my language, uh, which I do with my body. Um, and when they start somewhere and end in, in a new, better place, that's just what I love to see. I'm still very passionate about um, teaching because I love to share my knowledge, my body language 
with students who really look up to me. I can feel their love. I can feel their passion for, for me, for dance in general. Um, and again, when they grow up because of me, that's where I know I can change something in people. Sushi or bolognese? I would definitely say sushi. That's way more better. <laughs> if I had to choose between salsa or breaking, breaking. And I don't think you knew that. <laughs> What's my favorite book? Well, um, I'm actually studying for being a teacher in middle school and teachers in general, I think would love to read books, but I don't have any favorite book. I'm sorry to say that. If I rather would participate in X Factor or Fear Factor, Fear Factor. That would be awesome. If I do fart in public, yes, I do. Just as everyone else. But if it smells, I look at someone else. <laughs> Besides dance, I bake at home, especially under these circumstances and then I used to um, go to CrossFit and for now I actually <laughs> have a trampoline at home so it's fit and jump where I jump on my trampoline to get in shape um, and then I love to play football um, yeah I think that's what I'm doing I don't read a lot of books unfortunately and then when the weather is good I love to take a walk. Yeah. So for now, what I want to keep doing is being a dance teacher. Um, I think I would do that forever um, until I'm gray and very old. Um, yeah, and I'm very blessed actually what I have achieved already with my dance career. So I don't have any further plans for now, but let's see what happens. My advice to all of you, boys and girls, keep up the good work, never give up, and just push it. Like, achieve your goals, never stop dreaming. <laughs>